You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Come on in. We're taking a trip to the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Let's go. Nearly half a million attendees from all over travel to Ann Arbor, Michigan every year for the art fair. Whether you have a passion for art or are looking for something to do in the summer, each artist brings a story and expertise that will leave everyone inspired. As a child, I was a problem child, didn't listen, didn't concentrate. I ended up in, a, in an art school and I fell in love with, my, with art and it became a career. Everything that I do lately, everything I design has to do with goal achieving. As you see here, these my climbers, I call them goal achievers. In my mind, they are achieving goals in life. I concentrate on making pieces that will make people happy. I do not do anything that has to do with debt or schools or anything like that because in my mind, I really want to project that happiness that I have while I make my pieces. I want to project that to the public. Now let's turn the corner and check in with another artist who's inspired by something that is sure to make people happy. Baseball. I grew up in Detroit and I was a Tigers fan and so being a uh, Tigers fan and a baseball fan, you naturally collect baseball cards. Uh, but to me, baseball cards were not just representations of, of the players, they were little works of art. When I uh, started doing these baseball paintings, uh, I was just doing the, the greatest players and the greatest teams of, of all of baseball. But then I started realizing that wherever I go, the, the hometown team is more important than the general baseball uh, subject. Even in years when the Tigers aren't necessarily playoff contenders, the loyal fan base appreciates art that represents the historically powerful organization. Baseball fans are baseball fans. They know the history, they know the characters, and uh, they appreciate uh, what I do with them. My little business is called the Fine Art of Baseball, and I think you can interpret that in a number of different ways. And uh, I, leave that to, I leave that interpretation open to my, my customers and my viewers. From goal achieving to baseball, the variety of art around town is unmatched. These are just two of the nearly 1,000 artists here at the largest juried art fair in the nation. And on top of the great exposure each artist gets, this art fair stands out as a vendor favorite for many reasons. I'm completely in love with Ann Arbor. <laughs> this town is beautiful. I've always loved college towns. Um, you just get, uh, you know, amazing culture and food. I really love the restaurants, actually. <laughs> so a lot of times we'll pick shows based on, like, food. <laughs> The show is really well run. I really like the people, and uh, it's a, a great place to come in the summer. I've been doing this show on and off for about six years. I do really great here. I got a lot of collectors in the area, and I love this show. I just love it. We'll see you back out here next July. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Erica Jones. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.